Hi, Dr. Pelto here. Uh, today I want to talk about midfoot uh, arthritis. I'm going to do a, a deep dive and talk about this condition that can happen to you. If you have it, you probably know, or you may just think you have a, a lump in the middle of the foot on the top. You may notice that you have some uh, pain as you're walking. And I want to kind of explain this condition to you so you can understand it a little bit better as well as some of the, the treatment options. We're going to focus mostly on the, the non-surgical options. There are some surgical options to fuse the joints, but I want to focus more on some of the non-surgical. And I, specifically, there is a new uh, type of device that can be used to make it feel much more comfortable when you have this midfoot uh, arthritis. So let's go through and talk a little bit about what arthritis is. So arthritis is where there's a connection where the bones are supposed to have cartilage. And when that cartilage is destroyed, it causes spurring and it causes arthritis. And it, this is a very common area in the middle of the foot. There are certain foot types that are more prone to developing this midfoot arthritis, such as a flat foot. Uh, very common for a flat foot because of all the extra movement that happens as someone is moving with uh, midfoot arthritis. It really depends how long you've had had these symptoms going on because the longer you have arthritis in the middle of the foot, the more pain that you're going to have. Uh, some people have tremendous arthritis, but have no pain. Other people have very mild arthritis, but they have a lot of pain. And there are different types of treatments uh, for this condition, but midfoot uh, is different than heel or the back of the ankle arthritis, and it's different than arthritis in the front of the foot. First of all, I just want to talk a little bit about the exams that you might be getting if you're having this. An x-ray is usually sufficient. Doing an x-ray will show how bad the arthritis is. You could do a CT or an MRI, but usually x-ray is sufficient for that. First of all, in order to reduce the pain, you can do a cortisone injection into the joint. If you're gonna do a cortisone, it may last up to two months. I tend to recommend doing it with ultrasound guidance. What ultrasound guidance is, it's using an ultrasound to find the exact joint that's painful, that's inflamed, and you can take the needle and inject it right in there. I wanna be clear though. Uh, an injection, it tends to be painful because you're putting a needle into a very small space and then you're injecting liquid that's going to kind of open up that space a little bit. It tends to be painful for our patients. If you want to avoid doing cortisone injection, you can also do oral steroids. Uh, that'll help temporarily. Anti-inflammatories. Icing will help temporarily. Topical creams, pain relieving creams. I don't find all that successful. There is a little bit of improvement I found for certain patients with something called shockwave therapy. I'm not going to go too much into detail about shockwave. It's not a first line for arthritis by any means, but there is some research showing that it can change, not create cartilage, but it can make it feel a little bit better. Let's go into some of the other types of treatments. Up until a few years ago, you didn't have that many options to reduce the stress and strain. I always go in terms of a, a continuum. I always recommend first a nice stable shoe. There are many shoes today that have material on the side that wobbles your foot too much or a lot of movement in your foot are going to make those joints more painful in the middle of your foot. So more of a stable shoe that's laced tightly. You may have to alternate your lacing a little bit, especially if you have a prominence on the top of the foot. You may have to skip one of the holes as you're lacing. You can do kind of a, a skipping to avoid that uh, pain in that area. Occasionally, if you have a lot of swelling, a compression sleeve can be helpful. I don't find it resolves everything, but doing a tight compression sock or a compression sleeve can help you. So that's the first step. The second step then would be to put an arch support. Arch support is one you can buy over the counter, usually $20 to $30, may last six months, may make it feel better, may not make it feel better. What's the whole idea of a arch support? Gives it a little cushion, gives it a little support in the arch and makes it feel better by moving less. A custom orthotic, so a custom orthotic contours high to the arch, however high your arch is, and it allows the foot to move less. And I'm gonna talk about a newer treatment that I'm excited about. Uh, but before that, I wanna talk a little bit about fusion. There are some surgical options. Uh, one of the options is to surgically fuse those painful joints. Um, very commonly, it's the second and third metcuneiform joints. Those are the joints in the middle of the foot that tend to be painful. And you can do surgery where you make an incision, you scrape out the cartilage, and you put in bone filler in that region. Well, up till now, that's all the option that you had if you have really bad pain. But there are a couple of other options, bracing options. And, and the first one is called the meso brace, a very tight ankle brace that goes right around the middle of the foot, and you tie it down. It's made out of leather. The technical term, we call it a gauntlet brace, which is a tight brace made out of leather, goes around there, and that fits in your shoe. And that was helpful for patients. That was the, the one I've been using for a number of years, and certain patients love it. Other patients say it's too bulky in their shoe, they don't want to use it, so on and so forth. And so there's a, a new brace that's out there. It's called a carbon fiber 
brace, a carbon fiber called AFO, which is an ankle foot orthotic. So what a carbon fiber AFO is, it's made of carbon fiber. It has a foot plate that goes in your shoe and it goes up the side of your leg into the front of your ankle. And what this does is it stores the energy that's going through the brace when you walk, it stores it. And then as you kind of moving forward, it kind of flips up the back of the foot, puts a lot less stress through the middle aspect of the foot as you walk. Now this type of a carbon fiber brace can be used for plantar fasciitis, can be used for Achilles tendonitis, drop foot, and then it can also be used for midfoot arthritis. And the reason we think that it, it works is because when you walk and you're lifting your foot up, your Achilles tendon pulls on the back of the heel. And as that the tendon in the back pulls up, back Bends the foot in the middle and it makes that arthritis worse. And what this, this brace does, it stores up the energy. And as your heel lifts, it uses the energy that's stored up in your walking and it makes it lift without having to bend at the middle of the foot. That's the way this ankle foot orthotic works. <clears throat> there are certain types that are just the carbon fiber and there's others that have orthotics built into them or placed on top of them. And so that would be an AFO that has something built on top of it. So uh, if you are dealing with mid foot arthritis, you might want to consider some of those uh, types of treatment options. I'm going to put uh, a couple of links to other videos. I have a shoe buying guide uh, type of a video and I have another video on different types of ankle foot orthotics if you want to learn a little bit more about it. But the name of the orthotic is uh, either Aeros spring, that's a technical term of a type of a brace, or there is something called a carbon fiber AFO. I'll put a link underneath this video. Uh, there's a one you can buy on Amazon, but just be aware. I wouldn't go just buying it. What I would do is I would check with your insurance because many times uh, insurance covers a brace like this it's because it's something that's medically necessary. So this is a good option for you if you're considering surgery and wanted to try something else to avoid it. This is good for you if maybe you tried a meso brace, the other type of a brace and you didn't like it or if you've done cortisone injections and, and it's helped. So once again, hope you guys find this beneficial. Uh, please uh, subscribe and like this channel and uh, put any questions you might have underneath here and I will try to answer them. Okay, thank you.